Welcome back to Cross Court Conversations. Uh, we got a special um, episode today. Um, Will, you want to let the our audience know yes. what's going on? Yeah, let's do this. So this is the eve of one of the bigger tournaments. You know, we haven't had a tournament in a while, um, especially in Wisconsin with this with this many team coming from all over the country. So, um, you know, as volleyball fans, we're always talking on the side about, you know, what to look for and, you know, all this kind of stuff. So we're used to putting our guests in the hot seat, right? We're always putting our guests in the hot seat, asking them, you know, pressing questions about their career, about, you know, what they see when they were playing and things like that. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to put each other in the hot seat in a, in a segment called Cross Core Conversation Hot Seat. So what's going to happen is Peng and I, we're going to ask each other questions and then we're going to give our, you know, opinion for whatever that's worth. We'll give our opinion on the questions that we're being asked. So that's how it's going to work. We're going to go back and forth. Um, Peng's going to give his opinion. I'll give my opinion on different topics, different questions. Um, you know, some of the burning questions that, you know, we're trying to, that's out there. Okay. So uh, we're going to give our expertise. Per se. So <laughs> Don't hate. The Peng, gotta, Peng has to chug a beer first to get him in the mood first, though. Ah, let's get all controversial. <laughs> Um, hey, hopefully not, man. <laughs> Here we go. So, what I'm gonna do is let me get a, let me pull off some of these questions here that we're gonna I'm gonna ask. All right, Payne, you ready to kick this off? Cross core conversation yeah, hot it. seat. This is the first time it. ever. Break some hearts. Okay. So, here we go. First question to you, right? Uh, first question to you is, uh, who's your pick for the men's and women's gold bracket? Who do you think? Who you got? Gold bracket. So, so basically, whoever's going to win the, the tournament. Um, we can start with uh, women's first. Women's, it's a little bit difficult for me to choose i'm not sure um most of these teams i don't know like the teams that i know are probably um nova i know nova i think fusu coaches them um i know extreme from kansas i've seen them play um but, um who else Oh, culprits, culprits. Uh, uh, they, I don't know. Did they win J four la uh, that last time? I think. I think that was them. <clears throat> I know they won before, but them and then NC, NC always. I don't know. If, I don't know who's on that team, but they always have a lot of, t uh, you know, a lot of talent that comes out of there. Um, <clears throat> if I had to pick for women's. I might have to go with um, man. You got, you got all these comments here that are blowing up already. I might have to go <laughs> with. Um, hmm, I want to say culprits, but I think I might okay. go with Kansas with uh, okay. extreme extreme from Kansas. You've seen that team play, right? Yeah. I've seen that. I've seen them play Labor Day. If it's the same team. Yeah, if it's the same team. They're, they're really good. Uh, they were good all around. Um, solid hitters, um, and uh, they, you know, they play very hard as a team. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I think I'll choose them. Choose Kansas. Although I thought, although <laughs> you know, although like uh, uh, Yelena's sister, uh, what's her, uh, Ka. Although I don't know who she's playing mm -hmm. on. She's always a big factor, okay. you know what I mean? So I don't know who yeah. she's playing on, but I'm, I'm just going to so go So whatever Kansas, team she's on, they, they might be up there. Team. Yeah, they, she yeah. might be on the Minnesota team. I, I, I have no idea. Like, mm -hmm. But maybe on culprits? I, <laughs> I don't know. But I'll, I'll go Kansas. I'll okay. go Kansas. Um, 
And then men's, man, men's. Um, a lot of teams, 52 teams. Good Lord. When did it go up, dude? Wait, the other day it was just 47. This 52 now? Yeah, I know. 52 teams. Let's go. Um, dude, you know what I'd like to see? I, I would like to see, like, Kelly and Wisconsin team or a Midwest team and then, like, a Southern team. You know what I mean? Okay. Like and, being in the playoffs. And, yeah, like in the playoffs. You know what I mean? Or and and like a, or Wisconsin, Minnesota, Cali, yeah. and then like a Southern team. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or you know wherever, wherever else. You know what I mean? Right. Like you got teams from like Michigan and all that. Whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> but um, if I had to choose, um, I know Georgia. I think one of my sources said. They might bring a pretty good team up there. <laughs> uh, um, we're, we're, we're going with source now. We're not naming any names. Man. We're professional. Uh, I, I, I'd like to see – I'd like to see MDY, Cloud9, and them, how, how they do up there. Uh -huh. yes. You know, they, they, they're solid teams, but they, in the big tournaments, they've yet to pull through. Yeah. Um, That's a – this is a pretty big tournament for – those teams like the Cloud yeah, Nine, the NDY, yeah, if they could pull yeah. through it. It's gonna bring them over the hump. Sort yeah, of. yeah, they're they're kind of like stuck how how we used to play. Yeah, you know, as all conference, like all the like teams that were below our caliber, we always mm -hmm. took them three games. So whenever yeah. we play a high caliber team, yeah. we always gassed out. But um, you know, you know, you already know Ko. Um, you know, Ko is probably gonna be there. Critical. Although critical Chipotle, we weren't Dusu when we talked to Dusu, he wasn't really, yeah. you know, very uh, yeah. revealing too when he said who who he was bringing. But yeah. um, critical. Uh, but if I had to choose one, um, I would have to say um, Natit. I would say Natit from Cali. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, is that a new just, team? Nat it's a new team. It's a brand new team. <laughs> bunch of bunch of uh, five three, five four dudes jump okay. out of gym. Yeah, I would say Nat Tit. You say Nat Tit from California is gonna Nat the favorite or yeah. the team? Huh? Some okay. weird team. Yeah, <laughs> probably playing in Jankos and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> but that would be my pick, Nat Tit. <laughs> Nat tip for the win. <laughs> okay. Well, Nat tip better. Uh, they better yeah. step up, man. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Will, uh, your question um, on the women's side: um, uh -huh. Are you impressed with uh, uh, thirty-plus teams? Because right now, currently, it stands yeah. at thirty-two teams, and that's ranging from Wisconsin, Minnesota, and C Kansas. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like they're from you know all over the place. So that's very promising to see the women's game um, pick it up like that. So of course, yes, I am impressed. You know, uh, with all the sports, but specifically the women's because of the amount of dedication and the hard work that they put into the crab. Uh, the Hmong volleyball women's the game. It has changed dramatically, man, because of the level of talent that are playing in these tournaments now. And they're pushing each other to be better. Uh, no longer are we just seeing women's volleyball being played like at like a basic you know, level. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. They're doing things on the court that the guys are doing nowadays, like running plays, running shoots. Um, you name it, they're doing it. So I kind of see the game evolving. And with this many teams coming here and representing, man, it's, it says a lot about the women's game, man, that the game is alive and up and going. So I just hope that the uh, women's Hmong volleyball, I just hope that they can sustain this in future tournaments, kind of like the Labor Days and the uh, Memorial Days and the J4th, you know. Um, you know, having 30 teams, this it is very impressive. So I'm kind of happy with that. So I like that. So, you know, yeah. 31 teams, man, it's kind of like the, you know, basically like the Hmong Volleyball Olympics for this. 
last year. You know, used to you have your J fourth to prove all that, but this year, you know, J fourth did not happen as it usually does. So also is taking its place. So yes, very impressed. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see. Let's go to let's look at some of these comments first. Will we yeah. shall we before we go yeah, to the next yeah, yeah. one? Yeah. All right, let's see what you guys are saying. Maya is saying you guys need to be at the park. The park's on fire. Oh man. I can write it over there. Setting on fire. You should go there to interview live. Yes. We hope to be there tomorrow and get some interviews in and see and represent for all the people who can't make it out. Yes, we will try to do that tomorrow and try to do that on Sunday as well, too. Um let's see, Payne, you should shotgun if your picks are off, Payne. And uh, oh, that shotgun. Would, yeah, shotgun live on cross court. If Napsit don't win, man, you got a shotgun, bro. All right. <laughs> What's he gonna do? Who said that? Who said Ty, that? Ty Ty? Said, no, no, no. Uh Chris. Oh. Chris, Chris. said uh, my pick is 15 five feet, and then okay, so that's some of the comments. Uh, shall we roll to the next question? Wait. Yeah, let's do it. Right. Right. Okay, okay. Peng. What if a California team like Natchez wins the tournament? What okay. will that mean? <laughs> so, so I'm already picking Natchez to win. Mm -hmm. So, assuming that they win, what mm -hmm. would that mean? Mm -hmm. Um. Just like anything else, man, just like J4, you know, that would just mean that that's kind of, uh, you know, uh, how do you say? That's kind of where the top volleyball players are, you know what I mean? It'll be like the measuring um, stick. Yeah, yeah. It would just mean that a lot of work to be done uh, everywhere else, you know. It's Wisconsin, obviously, I'm from, uh, I'm representing here, Wisconsin, and a lot of work to be done here. You know, it, it, it's kind of changing of the guards, you know. Mm. Um, I know uh, Yelang and one of them are getting older. Wisconsin, and, you know, some of the some of the top teams of Wisconsin, their players are getting older yeah. and they, they're not training as much, you know, as hard. Um, but, yeah, that, that it would mean that obviously, you know, Cali will be um, – Cali would be the spot, and that's that's kind of where you got to go prove yourself, man. You know right. what I mean? If you think Same, you're you the top go dog, got to go to their territory. You got to show up at the West Coast. Yeah, <laughs> that's what that means. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you think you're the top team, man? That's the spot to prove it. Yeah, yeah, I, definitely. I would like some of our top tier teams around the Midwest here try to go challenge uh, mm -hmm. some of the West Coast guys out there, too. That would definitely be a measuring stick, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, moving on here, uh, question for you, Will. Um, mm -hmm. Are you in favor of the Wausau tournament format with the gold and silver um, tiers? Uh -huh. Are you in favor mm -hmm. of that? Okay. Well, I know Hova put out a video explaining this, but let's just, I'm just going to remind the audience real quick. So, um, so basically the first day, right, it's going to be round robin where every team will get a chance to play. And that round robin will determine if they will play in the gold or silver bracket, right? That's, that's basically what's going to happen. All right. And then the second day, you know, whichever, you know, bracket you fall into, that's when the fun begins. That's when, you know, teams are going to get eliminated. So I, I believe it's going to be single elimination, right? So I think that's what Hova has set up. And my opinion on it is, heck yeah, that's a great idea, man. I've been begging for this for a long time. Yeah. Uh, one is because it separates like, you know, gold from silver, definitely. But, you know, you just want to see the same level compete against each other. It just makes it more fair, okay? And this also gives, like, younger teams a chance to come to play and to grow, right? Usually, like, instead of just coming to the tournament, getting their butts kicked two games straight and then going home. I mean, yeah. 
they don't really learn anything as we talked about this like off air right they don't really mm-hmm. gain anything from it right so teams will come to compete at their level and you know they could it's kind of like a measuring stick so this is where we're at this is the team that we're chasing so yes i love the way this is set up and i hope that in the future like these bigger tournaments kind of like the july 4th um i'm not too sure about the labor days or you know, i don't i'm not sh- so much i'm not so sure about this tournament anymore but definitely um uh, the July 4th, the Minnesota one could definitely take some notes on this because yeah. I really like this idea. I think if they do this, more younger teams or newer teams will come out and compete more because knowing that they have a chance to actually win something yeah. right, and competing. So I love this idea. I hope that yeah. this will continue and I hope that it could like, you know, transfer to other tournaments as well too. Not every one, but like it's maybe the July 4th one where like, yeah bigger competitions out there so definitely. especially the the ones with you know bigger organizations back them up you know right. kind of like this one you know because right. i know you know my son plays a lot of au basketball and that, that's how they run it man they mm. they run tiers and you know i mean they you have platinum platinum gold silver bronze and all that just so they can get more experience against their own level you know what i mean and then mm-hmm. as they get better they climb up you know, next tournament they might they might be a silver. Next tournament they yeah. might be a gold. Next tournament they might be a right. platinum. You know what I mean? So, right. yeah, definitely. In terms of <clears throat> development, this format is um, ideal. Um, yes. But, yeah. Sure. All right, you ready for the next one? Yes. All right, let's go. This is third question for Peng. This is a big one. This is this kind of like the you know, main topic at every tournament. Should the prize money be more? Paying, what's up? What's your opinion? Should it be more? Mm-hmm. It can always be more, right? If you right. If you think about it. Mm-hmm. Um, should it be more? Um, like I said, it could always, it can always be more because, you know, I'm a player myself, so I would always love to see the prize be you know, as high as it can be, but the prize, I love it. Um, I love it because um, the men, uh, well, let's, let's see, it's 2,100 for the gold division, yeah. 2,100 for the first, 800, second, 400, third, and then silver, it's 300, and then 200, and then 100. I love it because um, um, due to the fact that you know, the men's prize mirrors the, the woman's. Mm-hmm. I love that, you know, because um, a lot of times women's, you know, their payouts are a little bit you know, uh, less right. because uh, usually their, their turnout is a little bit more less. And yeah. and being that, you know, there's a great organization, you know, back in this tournament, mm-hmm. it's great that they can provide, you know, the same amount of money uh, for uh, men's and women's and not having one um, uh, more than the other. But um, should the prize money be more? Yes, of course, it can always be more, but let's not get greedy. 2100 is a lot of money. Um, yeah. Um, but I love it because uh, men's and women's, it, it mirrors itself. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm not complaining about it. So. <laughs> I think as a competitor, of course, the money, you know, it's important too, but I believe deep down inside, like competing and the pride is way more than the money. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Of course, you want to go and win the money, but deep down inside, we're all playing a game that I think if it was just, I think we we're just playing for trophies and stuff. There'll be teams that will show up as well too. So, you know, the money is, you know, like you said, man, of course there could always be more, but um, um, for me, uh, as a competitor, when we played, man, like the money, sure, but it's more the camaraderie and like just competing and, you know, just, you yeah. <clears throat> stories, man. Yeah, I mean, that's the essence of Pong Volleyball, man. I mean, yeah. you know, just pure competition, you know. Oh yeah. So, oh yeah. Um. So moving on. Um. What? What? 
Well, what storyline will you be following? Uh, storyline, man, besides like everything else, there's going to be a lot of storyline. Um, but one storyline that I want to see is, is there going to be any Wisconsin team? Because the amount of Wisconsin team that are competing in this tournament, is there going to be a Wisconsin team that's going to step up and dethrone the KO dynasty, right? Yeah. KO, they've been reigning for like 15 plus years. So will this team potentially retire KO? So, you know, KO, they, they've they been ruling Wisconsin for a while. You know, they, yeah. you know, all the respect to them for sustaining this for so many years. So they've been competing at a high level, like I said, for 15 plus years. So if a Wisconsin team can step up and show some promise and, you know, give KO a challenge, I think that this will make Wisconsin volleyball that more exciting because yeah. um, there'll be more competition because it's been, man, I mean, I hate to say it, but it's been monopolized by the KO yeah. dynasty, man. Shit, man, let, let's just be honest, man. When I was in my prime, yeah. and when I was playing against them in my prime, like we went back to back, you know, right. but these dudes out here, like these dudes are, these dudes are older now, man. And y'all are hitting <laughs> in your prime. Y'all still can't beat them, man. Get the hell out of here, man. <laughs> like, y'all don't even know what type of level they were in their prime. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> so, for sure, man. So, that's that's a storyline that I'm looking for. Like, is there going to be a team that's going to step up from Wisconsin just because there's so many Wisconsin team competing in this tournament? You kind of uh, take that mantle, man. Up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, take that mantle and then just, you know, and this dynasty got to end one way or another. Are they going to, like, go out on top like Michael Jordan or are they going to, like, you know, go off where someone's going to beat them and they're going to retire forever? I mean, yeah. you know, either someone's going to retire them or they're just going to go up on top and say, you know what, we're done. We've got nothing to prove or they'll just go out on their own. So yeah. um, it will be way better if a team could retire them, you know? Yeah. So... So for sure, I mean that's a storyline that I'm looking for this weekend. So besides, you know, the bathrooming and stuff like that, man, I swear, man, those the bathrooming and toilets are always a storyline, bro. <laughs> are you willing to take the risk? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> man, I don't know, man. Look, look, here's my thing with bathrooming, man. There's there's no way someone should put like. 30 to 40 peppers in the papaya at a tournament, bro. Knowing <laughs> damn well, you got to go freaking take Dude, do you know, you know, I don't even eat. I don't even eat at tournaments, dude. I'm uh, so, like, only, like, I would only eat a little. I don't even, like, because I'm so superstitious. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even eat nothing, man. I just play tournament. I'll play the whole day not eating. Maybe I'll eat here and there, like rice mm -hmm. or something like that. But man, dude, mm -hmm. like, I'm so yeah. superstitious. Like, you know what I mean? What if I cramp up or, or oh, right. like, you know what I mean? Like, like, For what sure. if I eat this and I feel too heavy or, <laughs> you know what I <laughs> mean? Seriously, man. Hey, I remember one of our segment, Corey talked about this. He said yeah. he doesn't eat any of the monk food during the tournament because there's a lot mm -hmm. of oil in it. And when he eats it and then you drink water with it, the oil is going to like build up inside your stomach during that time. I don't know how oh, scientific yeah, yeah. that is. Okay. Yeah. But I remember him saying that. So I'm like, yeah, okay, I, cool. that, that's kind of like the same psyche that I have. Like, I'm not going to eat because, you know, just superstitious wise, like, like I, right. because of that, like it's too greasy. Right. It's going to do this, do that. And it's like, I don't know. Like you said, I don't know if there's any science backing that, but, right. but in my head it is. <laughs> well, man, those porta potties are treacherous, man. I swear to yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only thing, man. <laughs> oh, 20 peppers, 20, 30 peppers and a papaya. Wow. Well, you're at the tournament. Forget that. dude. dude who does that, bro? Like bring it home. <laughs> dude. Frank, just bring it home. Dude. <laughs> bring Bring, Bring it home, home eat it at home. Papa Chen, and, then man, use, man. and then use your bathroom, man. Right. People got to go Lord. after you. Hello. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> you want, yeah. All right. Question Moving on. Or, do you want to move on? Yes. Yeah. All right. I think this is the fourth question for you. Yeah. Okay. 
So will there be a younger team that will make a big impact on this tournament? Okay, two parts. And then what team or player are you looking forward to seeing? Oh, Lord. Um, let me see. Let me pull up the teams. Um, mm -hmm. The teams, let's say from the, um, the men's side, um, mm -hmm. I kind of want to see the uh, the local team. Um, mm -hmm. uh, shout out Team UI. Mm -hmm. um, I want to see them how how they do. Um, um, they're they're a younger team. Um, they got they got a lot of talent, um, but in terms of big tournaments. Um, I like to see how they kind of match up with, um, with a grueling tournament like this, you know what I mean? Like, like right. his, uh, generation, this generation, they, they don't, they don't see like, like back then we used to see this like on like weekly basis, you know what I mean? Like 30, 40 teams, like you gotta you play four, five, six straight games in a row, you know what I mean? Like. These teams nowadays, they yeah, I don't think they know anything mm. about that. But I would like to see them. I'm rooting for them to kind of uh, make a big splash. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> that's what that's on my the bias stuff. But um, team, um, what is that Cali team? Phantom. I kind of want to see Phantom play. I think David. Uh, David mentioned them in one of our conversations with him. Yeah. Uh, I want to see them play. I, I don't think I know them. I've never seen them play, but you know, if David's going to vouch for them, you know, I, I, I like to see them play. Um, Caliber, Caliber is a team that I think Huey's coaching, I want to say. Okay. Don't quote me on that, but I want to say that from, I think he's coached from Minnesota. Minnesota? Yeah, okay. Caliber, I want to see them play. Uh, I want to see how they do, you know, under, under, uh, you know, under the, these cir circumstances, you know. Um, Especially a tournament like this, where like you're going to be expending a lot of energy, like yeah. playing round robin yeah. to get into like the gold bracket, man. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and then um. Uh, uh, you know, all the you know lights out. Obviously, uh, much love to them. Um, I kind of want to see the, how they how they uh, pan out. Um, and all the southern teams, I want I want to see that. You know, like the Missouri, Oklahoma, uh, Georgia. See what see what they're bringing. Mm -hmm. um, who else? SC or Carolina team. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to see, uh, they might, I, I don't know if they're young or not. That's the thing. I, I don't know if they're young or not, but I do want to see them play. And I, I, I want to see them pan out, um, mm -hmm. you know, um, in terms of players on the men's side. Uh, mm, I want to see on caliber, like who's going to, I know they have a right side hitter that's pretty big. Mm -hmm. Um and uh, outside hitter. Um, that's got a good swing. Um, Team UI. I want to see uh, JB. How JB does? You know, if, if he's you know gonna carry the team or he's just gonna you know <clears throat> kind of just um, you know play as a team member. You know, yeah. not as a team member, but just kind of you know just let it. Right. You know, you, you, you got to be able to carry, you know what I mean? Right. Especially for a young team, you know. Um, yeah. Um, Charlie, obviously, mm -hmm. see if they can carry. Um, um, players. Mm, I want to see all the Southern players. I've not seen them. I've not been down there. Yeah. Um, and then... <clears throat> And then I also want to see how Eddie Eddie does. Eddie mm -hmm. Vu from Wausau from uh, uh, through GK. I want to see how he how he does. 
Time to step up this year. Oh, he all, he all tight. He all ripped. I want to see how oh, hey, Zico. Oh, oh, oh. Them, them weights don't hit back, huh, Eddie? <laughs> Um, and then, uh, and then obviously Phantom, I, I don't know who's on that team, but I want to know, you know, I want to know who's on the team. Right. Um, so, and then obviously whoever, I think, I don't know if, you know, whoever's coming from NITAT and critical. So, yeah. Yeah. And then I women's think, side. Huh? No, go ahead. Yeah, women's side, I kind of want to see Nova, how they do. Um, I think when uh, Pusu was coaching, they were young yet. Yeah. I don't know any of those players, but I kind of want to see how they do. Um, the Kansas team, I want to see how they do, if, if they improved or not. Um, and then the NC, I don't, I don't know who's coming for NC, but they always got talent for some reason uh, when they come up. Um yeah, and then um, yeah, I mean whoever's in Wisconsin, um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm not sure. I I don't know who's like I don't know who will play. Like I I'm only referencing like my point of reference is just like the last time I was two at a big ago? tournament. Yeah, it was like two three yeah. years ago. So that that's my point of reference. What's what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm. That's for Forgive sure. Me. That, yeah. I think that's kind of what that's kind of what makes this tournament a little bit interesting because you yeah. don't really know who's doing what and who did mm -hmm. what type of training. It's like all the only thing you kind of know is like from two, three years ago. Yeah. Which a lot of things could happen. Maybe mm -hmm. that 13, 14 year old who was training in three years, they're 16 now, they can come and like freaking dominate. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So that's for sure, man. Yeah. So, yeah, that's that's what I'm looking forward to. So, um, <clears throat> um, so should question for you was should or could Warsaw be like the prestigious tournament for mm -hmm. like Wisconsin? Yeah. Well, you know, uh, it all depends on how the tournament goes. Uh, they definitely have the facility, they have the space, um, you know, it's a beautiful space. I saw some of the video that Hova put up. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful facility. Uh, the location is, you know, it's near Minnesota. It's kind of near all the Wisconsin cities. So the traveling is, is kind of like in a central location. So they got that going for them. Um, so, yes, you know, they definitely got that going for them. However, this may be the downfall since it's if it's going to be like the tournament, like the Hmong Volleyball Wisconsin, like kind of like the Super Bowl, man, it's going to need more of a nightlife, dude. Bro, there's like nothing to do there. <laughs> I, I like there's I don't know, man. It needs more of a nightlife. So yeah. hopefully that could expand more, you know, and bring more business to all the Hmong uh, businesses and nightclubs and bars out there. So if they could, you know, open that up more, definitely they'll be popping, you know, more hotels, more nightlife. Um, so um, uh, only downfall I might see of this is probably the timing. So as you know, all the other big tournaments, the Minnesota one is on July 4th. Uh, there's two Wisconsin one, which is on Memorial Day and then on Labor Day. So this all happens during like holiday weekends, which gives like teams coming from afar like time to travel. Uh, I'm not sure if also can find a date like that, yeah. or maybe they could entirely just take over like a Labor Day or a Memorial Day. We, mm -hmm. um, you know, they could make their tournament on one of those days, which gives like teams coming from, you know across the country time to travel. So that's the only problem I foresee. Um, just, you know, just the Memorial, Labor Day and J4, they all happen on like a holiday weekend and just give people more time to travel. Otherwise, yeah, I mean, it could potentially be the tournament depending on how it goes. It's like, yeah. I mean, you can set up 10, 20, 30. It looks like there's like 20 nets up 
The facility is gorgeous. The space, the location, man, they got it all. So maybe just like, you know, the nightlife, which is, you know, something they can't control. That's like something outside the court. But uh, as far as just everything inside the court, man, hell, yeah, that facility, I've never been there, but it looks gorgeous. So, and then, you know, the only problem I foresee is just finding like a date that could, you know, work for everyone. So, yeah. because if it's going to be one of the bigger tournaments, it needs to be on a date where it gives teams a little time to travel, you know. So, and that's kind of have, and that's kind of what J4 f- has going for them because it gives them like time to travel and stuff, so depending on, you know, when J4 lands on. But, yeah. you know, everybody, that's like a holiday. So, so that's my take on also being one of the, the tournament. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Um, is that it? Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. Those are our burning questions that we just answered. Let's I mean, we could let's see yeah. if there's any comments or anything that we need to answer or anything. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's see if there's any comments. We're gonna make our show short and to the spot because I know a lot of you guys, our viewers, our fans, or whatever, you guys got a lot of uh catching up to you because there's a lot of people coming from out of town. You guys are hosting or doing whatever you guys are doing or preparing to go to Wausau. So, uh, let's see. Chores. Okay, so what's your upset pick if you know any of the teams, Peng? Oh, or maybe yeah, a well, team come out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, well, that goes back to, well, we don't know the schedule yet. Is it schedule right. yet? Right. So, <clears throat> um, that it still goes back to the younger team that I'd like to see. Get up yeah. there. Um, I like, um, what is it? Uh, team Phantom, mm-hmm. Caliber, um, Southern teams, um, mm-hmm. uh, Team UI. I, I kind of want to see them uh, get up there. Um, yeah, those teams, you know, I want to see them, you know, you know, surprise, surprise some people, man. You know, you got to upset right. some people, you know. You can't always beat beat teams that you are better than, you know. You're, right. For sure. There's got to be a time where you you beat teams that you're not better than, and that's how it goes mm-hmm. on, you know. And that's how you move on to that to, to that next plateau, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. So, and this is like the perfect opportunity because it's been like mm-hmm. two years since anyone played, so there's a lot of time in between if you've been working on your game. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we have another question here. It says, "What do you guys think? What do you guys think of the OG versus Young Bucks matchup?" So I believe Hova explained that they're going to take t- some of the top OG guys versus some of the top Young Buck guys. I'm not sure how Young Buck are not these sure. Young Bucks. Yeah, yes. I'm not sure how young and I'm sure how, not how old are we talking about. Like, what's right. the right. you know the threshold on that? But I mean, it's it should be fine. I mean, yeah, it, it should be entertaining. Hopefully, yeah. man, there's gonna be a lot. Of, hey, you know what? There's gonna be a lot of side bets and stuff on for that yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, depending on who's playing, you know, right. like. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, um, it, it should be entertaining, man. It's an yeah. ex- exhibition game. Because if if you go too old, then you gotta lower the net. <laughs> yeah we gotta do a family picnic style man. Yeah. That. so uh let's see uh will you guys go live yeah we're gonna try to go live if we make it out there yes we'll try to go live definitely live oh. interviews we'll try to go live yes we're gonna do some interview too we're gonna put out some yeah content. yeah like games that games that i kind of want to see I, like like i said like whoever is out there like it doesn't have to be yeah. us or whatever like yeah. even just people like you know like teams like Phantom I kind of want to see them caliber yeah. sure. uh, Nitat Nitat coming out of the woodworks I don't know who <laughs> them are <laughs> yeah for sure if whoever can go live yeah put it on the Hmong volleyball community uh, yeah, yeah and like community. put it and out like, there everyone wants to see it and uh, like the NC team for the women's the Kansas the Nova team culprits yeah, yeah. sure yeah. Uh, yeah, whatever you guys can do. If you guys are watching the game and you guys are at the tournament, put it live. It just helps grow the game more. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Um, you know, so yes, definitely put it live. We'll try to go live as well, too. So if, if we're out there. So uh, let's see. Any questions here? Nope. And then uh, I 
I think the rules that probably maybe 10 to 20 plus 10. I think that's it, man. Yeah. I think that's it for all the questions right now. So, yeah, yeah. that's pretty much it. Yeah, so, so um, just a heads up, um, I, I'm probably not going to make it out there because of my work schedule. Um, I think Will, for sure, Saturday, right, Will? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll probably be out there Saturday for a little bit, just, uh, you know, talking to some of the players and you know, just, um, you know, asking, doing what cross court does. So we'll be out. I'll be out there representing. I'll be there. So, yeah. Um, and then possibly Sunday, right? You said? Uh, yeah, depending. So yeah. possibly Sunday as well, too. Definitely want to be there for the finals as well, too. So, um, can't make a promise on that but you know yeah. but i would like to get out there on both days but yeah you know. um yeah just before we go just good luck to all teams um safe travels you know um thank you for the you know the, the wasa I, I don't know what that organization is called thank you to them yeah. thank you to uh Hoa for hosting it uh promoting it and all that and Hoa and, and and all his team team members or was helping him out. Um, should be a good turnout, man. I mean, over be. over eighty teams. Yeah, um, be exciting. Be very yeah, exciting. Yeah, it should be. I can't wait to um, you know, check out some of the games. Come yeah. back and uh, kind of analyze it. Yeah, so. and all the teams, all the winners, man. Y'all gotta come on. Y'all gotta come sure. on and and at least two or three of you guys or whatever and chat it yes. up. You know what I mean? Yeah, see, see what I'll, I'll be out it. there, so hopefully none of you guys are too shy, man. I'm going to stick yeah. a mic in your face and you guys yeah. just go for it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, I mean, yeah. shoot, I mean, you guys are in the middle of the tournament, so hopefully I catch you guys at a time where you guys are kind of just uh, hanging around and then not in the middle, not going to thick of things. But we definitely want to get some footage and some interview live while you guys are playing as well, too. So hopefully a team will let us in and just kind of talk to them about some of the strategies or what are you guys thinking of or let us inside some of your huddles as well, too. So yeah. we definitely want to do that. Kind of like an all-access, you know, behind-the-scene type of thing as well, too. I think that will be, you know, people will um, enjoy that as well, too. So yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. For